doing just about everything right. All that said, after the first year, we started seeing some issues. Something with the employees come up? No. Online accusations. A popular channel did a feature on our company. Thanks to that, all of our ex-Yakuza employees were exposed. They even aired out the backdoor deals I'd made with the government and media. Hang on. This channel, it wasn't... The Tatara channel. <laughs> Who else? Same one that hit Kasuga. And it wasn't just the deals. It was everything. They got their hands on every scandal they could find. They stretched the truth paper thin, and we ended up taking the... Maybe. But even with all the stretching... In light of that, there wasn't much we could say in our defense. Before long, our customers started leaving one after another. Government boys washed their hands of us, too. Talk about heartless. From there, all eyes were on us. The world was watching our every move. We were at a standstill. The company's finances dwindled as a result. It was then word broke out among the employees. The Yakuza. I mean, you got former Chairman Daigo up top, and we're right there with him. Ain't hard to see. If we wanted to start things up... Among some employees, there were even talks that we were planning to revive the Tojo clan. All sorts of rumors made their way around. The company was in shambles, and in such short time. <laughs> it's a miracle we didn't go sooner. Thanks to the Tatara channel, society wanted nothing to do with us, and those inside started longing for the old days, for their sake. We figured we ought to shove off. They needed a fresh start. And I see. That explains why you're out here. If we really wanted to see the great disillusion through, this was the best way. That's what we concluded, at least. I think I get what happened. Do you know Ebina of the Seiryu clan? He took over the great disillusion once you left, at least on the surface. Yes, I know the name. A few years ago, we got a tip that he was out looking for us. Two years ago? That was right around when Takabe got locked up. That's right. Ebina replaced Takabe. That's more or less all he's known for. His name alone isn't enough to unite the... He'd need a few poster boys, which is probably why he wanted us. Little did he know, that ship had already sailed. That was part of it. However, there was something else that bothered me. <clears throat> the man I mean, was raised by a single mother, but she died when he was in middle school. Afterward, his family name was changed. He became the Ebina we knew today, but the name he had before, it was Hikawa. Hikawa? Ebina's mother's name is Yuriko Hikawa. She's the Hikawa family patriarch's daughter. Hikawa family? You mean Masumi Arakawa's old family? That Hikawa? Correct. And did you know that Arakawa-san and this Yuriko Hikawa were once engaged? Right. The Patriarch pushed the proposal on him, I'm pretty sure. Yes, but Arakawa-san already had a woman he loved. That was Akane-san. However, despite that fact, he couldn't just go against his own boss's wishes. And so, he kept a relationship with Yuriko-san as well. Now, this brings up a good question. You don't mean... This is all just speculation, of course. But Masumi Arakawa may in fact be Ebina's father. Ebina is around Kasuga's age, give or take. Even their birth dates are still... So Kasuga and Ebina... You're saying they could be half-brothers? We told you it was odd, didn't we? But if that's really the case... I can't imagine Arakawa would just abandon his own son. Judging from when Ebina was born, Arakawa-san must not have known about Yuriko's pregnancy. And after the Hikawa family all but collapsed, Yuriko gave birth without a soul knowing. From her perspective, Arakawa not only killed her father, he also abandoned her son, Lee. I can only imagine the anger and spite she must end. What if that anger was passed down to Ebina? Ebina does hold a lot of hatred for Arakawa. Exactly. So it's hard to imagine that Ebina would take up Arakawa-san's legacy. 
The second great disillusion was all the man ever wanted. So you guys kept your silence, and as a result, Tawashiro was chosen for the task instead. <sighs> yes, I believe that's the case. Yep, that about wraps it up. But hey, I'm sure you didn't come all this way for story time now. That's right. Actually, I have a favor I want to ask you. I want you guys to help out Sawashiro. As it turns out, he's trying to fulfill Arakawa's wish too. Bringing about the second great dissolution. Fabian is watching him like a hawk, like he's the Seryu clan's prisoner. If he just had your help, Sawashiro could step up and knock him off his throne. You all started it. The second great dissolution should be yours to finish. <sighs> I've said it already. Come on. You don't have to like any of it, but at least pay attention. Kill you. Look, they're right. We got no business in the limelight anymore. I mean, sure. It's true we got the power to rally, folks. And we can get them moving, too. We join Sawashiro on stage, and we'll get the attention of every Yakuza in the country. It's called charisma. Nobody's stupid enough to say that for themselves, but... Hell if it ain't true. <laughs> how it goes. Slice it however you want. That's the Yakuza. The dreams we ended up giving others? They're what keep the Yakuza we knew was strong. That Yakuza had money. <sighs> Those dr they need guys who can help them get back into the real world. Especially not with our recent track record. The moment we learned something was off with Ebina's history, we knew there was a lot to consider. Yes, there's a chance he's taking advantage of the second great disillusion for his own interest. However, if he pulls it off, who are we to interfere? If anything, we should keep our distance. Right. So this is how you're taking responsibility? It is. We'll act as if we don't exist. That's the best we can do. Honestly, even death had its appeal at one point. But if we're dead and gone, our names will just carry on into the Kiryu-san. Are you aware of what they all say? All those Yakuza, yeah, they act like you're some great mythic if we ended up just like you. The illusions of the Yakuza life would be stronger than ever. Just look at your own life. Shintaro Kazuma was everything to you. Sawashiro would sacrifice himself to take down Ebina. That alone won't be enough to save everyone. He's counting on your help. Uh, I'm sorry. Fine. I'll be there for Sawashiro as best I can. You guys can just keep... <laughs> Guess I was wrong. Hold it! The hell's that supposed to mean? It's just as I said. I was stupid to think coming up here would change anything. Go ahead and run. Just remember that for all your excuses, you still have a job to do. What could you possibly know about what we've been through? You have any idea what it's like? No, I can't say I do. And I wouldn't want to. <sighs> Damn you! <sighs> What's wrong? If you want to fight, don't hold back. Boy, do I hate getting worked up over petty shit like this. Better than sitting around being pissed off, though. <laughs> sure, why not? Let's throw a few punches. For old time's sake. Hey, what's going on? Ain't you guys supposed to be having a nice, friendly chat? Cause, uh, they sure as hell don't look like one. Sorry for the wait. I'll need just a little more time. Quit acting so tough. We're not gonna leave our friend out to dry like that. 
More importantly, if we stay out here any longer, we'll all freeze to death. So you've got five on your side now, huh? Suppose that's fine. I'll just have to tag in, too. Ooh, oh shit. How about this? Never thought we'd be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with all three of you. <laughs> yeah, sure. Like you got any business with us. Maybe stay in your fucking lane. <sighs> oh well. Guess I'll try and make this fun. One express trip to hell coming up! after this. Hey, we can't back down now. We're locked in, sister, so buckle up. In for the kill! Stop you now! Oh. Allow me. You want some? I'm over here. Who wants to go? That can't be all you got. Delivery. Coming up. Could this be what you're after? In that case, I'll have a ball! Looking a little worse for wear there, Kiryu-chan. Still, you win and kick the nest. Won't let you off the hook that easy. No more games. This time I go all out. No for mercy now. Yeah, give him hell. Bring it on. Double the trouble. Double the flame. Enjoy! What did they say that's enough for a warm-up? Now, let's have some fun! Things are finally getting interesting. Time for the real deal. I won't hold back. It's over! Let's do it. 
Mercy now. I'm over here. Are you done with all the no. fun and games yet? Should relish this moment. Strong, sweet. Yes. Be straight with me. What are you all so afraid of? Are you scared of screwing up people's lives? Or maybe, maybe you just don't want to fail again. Whatever the reason, you'll never know if you don't try. You act like it's so simple. Say we do try. What happens if it all goes to hell again, huh? If that day comes, you keep on pushing through. As long as you're breathing, keep moving, keep trying, and figure it out. Here you go again. 
Always the hero. Say what you want. It's the only way I know. Besides, this is the last time. Anyway, I'm gone. You won't be hearing from me again. Wait. Don't go. Kiryu-san, I get that you don't have a lot of time left. Still, it's not worth it. That's no reason for you to run off and get yourself killed. You're wrong, Daigo. What? Honestly, it's a weight off my shoulders. My death's finally worth a damn. Kiryu, what are you saying? I'm the same as you guys. I've screwed up more lives than I can count at this point. Not to mention, I'm a Yakuza. I haven't exactly lived a life that I can be proud of. Yet even then, through it all, I'm somehow still here. So that's it. The Yakuza have made a huge mess for themselves. Once I grab hold, I am taking it with me. You're talking out of your ass, Kiryu. That's no excuse to... Wait till things settle down. Come then, Kasuga's gonna need your help. The Yakuza have one chance. Their future depends on him. Don't you leave! Don't you dare leave! Kiryu-chan! <laughs> you know, it's funny. I came to ask you guys for help. But maybe... All I wanted was one last fight. <sighs> Wait! Kiryu-san! We're back. And no Daigo Dojima, Taiga Saijima, or Goro Majima. Ah, oh, man. If they just get off their asses, we'd have wrapped things up by now. <laughs> You're probably right. <sighs> they seem to have made up their minds, though. Got me there. I swear. To think the Tatara channel got a hold of them, too. Yeah. Hey! Oh, whoa! Isn't that Kiryu? Yeah, look! It's gotta be him! It really is. What's going on? <clears throat> if we let this guy roam free, the Yakuza will just keep coming back! I don't care if I get locked up! He's never gonna hurt us again! We don't have time to take these guys on. Let's lose them and get back to Kasuga's place. <sighs> get back here, damn it! <sighs>
people, Tatara Channel coming at ya! As always, we're out to boldly reveal the evils the media is just too scared to touch! Let's jump into today's topic! Now look here! Everyone knows this face, right? That's right! Photographed in Hawaii just the other day, it's Kazuma Kiryu! But this latest video comes to us from right here in Japan, in our own backyard! That means Kazuma Kiryu's come home! And why, you ask? Well, feast your eyes! This is the head of one of the biggest Yakuza groups of all time! The Tojo Clan's sixth chairman, Daigo Dojima! And that's not all! With him are Tojo Clan officers Goro Majima and Taiga Saijima! These are all major players! Yakuza All-Stars, if you will! How about our longtime viewers? I'm sure they recognize these guys, right? 